Hello YouTube fans, here again and I figure why not, why not do this one I remember seeing it a few nights ago that being a lot of movies for 1987 being Stage 5 that's right, Stage 5 now I don't know if you just do find it now but it was on YouTube of all channels I want you to see people me that bit was a lot of movie and believe it or not it was on YouTube and it's quite a good one this that's a, it's a good one um, you basically you get this weird opening, you get a, a, a sound of a trap, which is a trap, and you've got the idea it's a dirt, it's a prostitute, someone's asking for a bit of surface, somebody jags by the neck. If you whoa, what the fuck's going on here? The next thing you know, you've got people dancing around, you've got this wood girl dressed up looking like Manly Monroe, blowing a crumpet, and then you realise it's not a prostitute, it's actually a prey. She's down and out actors, trying to get the thoughts in again, trying to make ends meet, and they're in a play, which she does is a stage, which definitely sums up the film, stage fight. And you've got this director, really snoopy looking, and he wants to push all these actors and actresses to basically make that and publish his own a team, publish them that they can make money, they can make loads of money by doing this play, go to fight, stage fight. Basically, he's about to die, wears an owl mast, and kills people. So they've got the main one of the actresses. She seems to her ankle, and the mate sneaks her out because they're not allowed to leave. What about save labour? She's not allowed to leave. She's got a bad ankle, so they sneak out. This guy's not like an undertaker. He says, go on there, and he just on the key, he sneaks them out. The only thing is, the mate couldn't be asked to go to this obstacle, it's too far out, so they go to a mental asylum. They go to a mental asylum, and you've got this one guy, he's a psychopath. It's a bit of a thing, it's, it's a bit, this is a bit where you could say it's similar to like um, Repulsion, and you could say it's also similar to the movie that we all know, being Halloween, you know. A psychopath escapes a mental asylum, goes on a killing spree. Hmm, wonder what it sounds like. Sounds like a film we already know. And then it is weird when you think about it, because she gets her ankle fixed up in everything. And the guy, you've got this idea of this psychopath escape. He's been put in his mental asylum because he's killed people in a stage on a theatre. And he breaks out and basically kills this other lad. And he breaks into the car. The guy finds out the Snoopy diet to that, basically she snubbed out and he sacks her. Sacks her told her to sing her up, which is like not a nice thing to do. He goes mad because they sneaked her out and everything. And the psychopath gets this thing, he gets this, you don't see it, but you know, they're the mice picks, you pick things with, like what miners and troll people stab. Stabbed her in the face. And she falls down dead. But that's like a mild murder scene compared as the film goes on. So she finds her body. The police come in. They want to know what's been going on. And you've got the idea of the psychopath is sneaking into the stage. Sneaking in. And the dogs get excited. So as the film goes on. You've got this one guy dressed up as the killer. You know, on the stage. Who wears the owl mask. If you've seen this actor before. He's been in loads. I mean loads of Italian films. As this is an Italian film. And um, basically. Then one moment. Sorry about that. I just had to pause the time. There's some dog outside. Near our house. Barking its head off like a nut off. Probably getting all excited over me. But right, where was he? So, as I was about to say, you think you've seen this actor before and you wonder where you've seen him before. But this is an Italian film, I was about to say. This actor's been down a lot of things. He was in Last House at the Edge of the Park. He was also in another video, Nasta, that being City of the Living Dead. He was a poor young lad who had a deal into his head. And he was in one of the most nasty films, one of the most banned films in a lot, and I mean a lot of countries. That being Cannibal Fairlock. Which, funny enough, in every one of the old films, he always gets an horrible death. <laughs> and he gets an horrible death in this and all. And you got the idea he's playing his day person, he's an actor and all this. I don't really like the way they're day day people, you know. Really tamper. But you got the idea he's playing that sort of character. I get it, he's acting the role. And he's doing his thing, he's just busted out. But long and old, he gets killed. You don't see it, it's Austin. 
he had an idea he's got killed by the one that killed the poor girl and here he's wearing an owl mask it's like your typical slasher film when you think about it it's your typical slice and dice film but instead of it being a killer dressed up like a michael mathers or a jason forties he's a die dressed up with an owl mask so i like that i thought it was different unique and you get one axis again who's been down through these films she was in um 11 days and 11 nights i remember reviewing that sort of like a spin-off of nine and a half weeks but i do remember in a lot of film called ghost house so i reviewed that a lot and the funny thing is some of the music even though this was done before ghost house some of the music the lift from this one day after they used in ghost house so i like that it had some of the similar same music in it so the film just get more do something. This killer is fucking ruthless. He is so ruthless because the guy wants to make money on the death of the poor girls. He wants the soul to go on. He lots all the actors in, making them all do it. He normally hurt her ankle. And lo and behold, the killer's dressed up as the owl mask. They think it's an actor, which it's not. And he stabs his poor fucking girl to death. And then they realise the psychopath is in the stage. And this actor, this doctor, this, actor, this murderer doesn't give a shit. Doesn't give a spying shit. He'll kill and size and dice anyone. Even he even kills a pregnant girl. Not making it up. Kills a pregnant woman. But it's pretty good how he does for that one. I remember rightly, he cuts her in half with a chainsaw. The boyfriend goes mad. He goes after the killer, which is stupid. He gets knocked on the floor. He gets cut up with a chainsaw as well. Got this one guy who looks like a fucking dancer, down to fucking giving money, doesn't work, he gets stabbed. The Snoopy diet that gets a good death. Gets a good death because the, the psychopath's got a chainsaw, cuts that dude who I just mentioned, and he's fucking says, Leave me alone, leave me alone. Cuts his fucking arm off with a chainsaw, no fucking about. I love the bit of the blood skirting out, we're over the top, I love it. Then the chainsaw runs out, so you think the die's going to get off with no arm, but it doesn't work. He gets an axe and cuts his fucking head off, and I love it. I always thought she was going to be the lead, though, the one who I remember in um, Dost House in uh, 11 Days and 11 Nights. But that's not the case, but there's basically where I feel for her, and there's basically where I don't, because she can be a bit of a bit, like, she's boasting that she's now got the role because the other dude got the sack and then the diner get away this is before all this happened and she pushes that dude down and knocks herself out but she wanders around right wanders around because the diner finds this key to get out and she finds her all wounded and bloody and then she hides under a shower you know like the neck turtons and the psychopath with the owl mask on comes in lifts her up pretty traffic scene this out there you get a knife and you actually see the knife Go into the dot and slip the dot where so I thought that was that good, that a traffic death scene. But I do love the bit because it's a really good juice and bit. We've got all the bodies and they're on the stage, they've got them all lined up. They've got the diary's head cut off, the Snoopy diet, and he puts his head on a rat's work. Got the dough all cut in half, he's got her lined up on stage, he's got all these bodies lined up, and he's just sat there with the owl mask on. But there's a bit where the girl finds the key and she's holding this wooden thing and she's trying to knit the, the key. And I like that feel. I do like that feel. It's a bit of an Alfred stock sort of feel. She gets the key. She has it done and the done doesn't work. But then she has a bit of fire. Pushes the fire over and you think the die of the owl mask gets burnt. But there's a good twist to this film. She gets away. And I felt this bit makes the character look stupid because I thought she was the one with the brains because she lost the rocks. She lost the watts halfway through the film, right? And she found out she lost the watts on the stage. So the next day, they've got the newspaper of all the bodies they found. They've got the stage massacre or something. And the guy who's like this staircase is asking, you sneak me in, you get the door watts. Now, they've got all these bodies, and it's on the newspaper. There was about eight bodies. But it wouldn't have been the stage. It would have been nine bodies, including the one that died to kill off, the old mast. And she's trying to sum it all up. When it's and show bits of the bodies because like I say the killer had the owl mask on, it's got them all beautifully decorated, really juicy, really in your face. And um, the, the killer ain't got his owl mask on, it's a bit burnt up, he's about to kill the girl, she sees him, and then the die shoots him, the die stairs because she would have shot him had 
she would have realised the safety tax was on the done. It had bullets. Uh, so he gets shot, the, the murderer. And she says, I shot him. I shot him. Just one lucky lot shot. And then she walks off. And I think it was a bit stupid. If I risked your fucking life over a gold box. She's just seen all her mates get brutally killed and murdered. Even the girl that was pregnant, this fucking murderer didn't give a shit. Killed her. Killed the other girl. Doesn't give a fuck with you, the girl or a woman. He'll kill anybody. He's a psycho, right? And she's seen all that and all her mates been badly mutilated and murdered. Even her best mate. And all she's asked about is these expensive fucking rocks. And what your life is more important. But I went with it. It was a film. But I just thought it was stupid. She went all the way over the fucking gold rocks. But I like the touch where she, she's shouting and she's memorising all the deaths. But it should be nine down the old mast. But like I say, he comes up, the, the stair taker gets a sh lucky shot, he gets shot in the forehead. So I killed him, I killed him, and she walks off. The only bit I didn't like was to kill her. He said, I was going to one lucky shot, and then just the killer that looks at the audience was that, and smiles, as if the idea is not dead, you know, your typical sequel break ending. I didn't think that was needed. And you get an, another stupid bit where you got a bit where the opening where they pay, and you got that girl dressed up as Manly Minwall, goes, Dee! And then the words come up and I thought, where the fuck did this come from? Where the fuck did this come from? You had all these horrible deaths, people being mutilated and murdered and everything. And at the end you get a stupid, stupid ending where a girl is being a flipping mouth order. I thought it would have been better to have the film darkened, have the words come up and maybe have some other music. But that's my only issue. But stage fight come out in 1987. Not a bad other film. Not a bad other film. So for that, a 10 star rating for me. It's a good one. You probably still see it on YouTube. You probably still see it on HD. It was on HD YouTube channel. If you still find it, it's not a bad other film. I say it's a good one. There are bits where they use the same music, what would later be used in the other movie I remember referring. That being Dole Stouse. But into them. Be smart. Be safe. See you later.